Welcome to Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and Dean Memorial Stadium, home of the North Carolina Tar Heels. And basketball may be in the blood, but football is certainly in the soul. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see the number five team in the country, the Ole Miss Rebels, taking on a team from the ACC, the North Carolina Tar Heels. Pressure on him, because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. They believe in that. Give to the back. Just will try to pick it up on the ground. They'll move those. They'll give it to the back. He's got a yard. They'll try to pop the draw. Couldn't find them. They are the key to their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys of the leaders. These are the guys get everybody organized. Wants to throw on second down. Just a short pass to the tie coverage. He's flying across the field, but the zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot giving this quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. Johnson looking to throw. The quick out. Daniels. It'll be a run on third and short. And he stopped the running back speed right there. I couldn't do it. He gets downhill just enough, and he gets the first down. It's, it's a good job, too, there on third down by the offense because of a major statistic in football. On third down, and he'll try to pick it up through the air. He gets it out quick. Give to the running back. And I think he'll... From the gut, the running back looking for room. They'll try to run for it. He gets it. I can't get inches. I don't deserve to win. I'm coming downhill. I'm playing physical. I'm picking my play, whether it's quarterback, state, fullback, guy, whatever it is. First and ten. Wide receiver shows motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Johnson wants to throw it. Fires deep for the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, North Carolina. This quarterback really does a nice job seeing the field and being in coverage. And when you go empty and spread the defense out, it's easier to see what the defense is doing. Sometimes love is a slow burn. 
that's what we just saw in that last run. Back out. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points there. Nothing but green ahead. Running with power. Lost, Lost the throw on first down. down. He's, He's got, got his man. Ability of a guy that slot position. Grab behind the line. It's Hampton. Now on fourth down, they'll tie a field goal. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go so productive drive last time. Wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, yeah mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Pushes forward for a pickup of three. Now the play fake. He's going to go down and he's in his own end zone. It's going to be a safety. You could tell the defense smelled it. They knew exactly where they were on the field. Put the pressure on him, got him down in the end zone. Safety, baby. More explosive plays and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. Bully ball on third and short. And they make it set those blocks up. They're able to go get the first. Caught in the backfield, it's Jones. The run from the shotgun. Pass the first down, Mark.
throw a pick if you're the quarterback here. You've got to be so smart. If you're going to be aggressive with this decision. They'll go to the counter play. Quickly out to the tight end. He's there for 
and catch a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open. Johnson wants to throw it. Fires to the big foul. Coming out on first down with the play fake. He'll pull it down and run. Off play action. Throws to the tight end. And this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Looking to pass. It's dark. Unloads to the wide out. He's got an open man. At this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. And he to the line. Takes easy ones to the back. They stop him like this, right? Still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. And this is exactly what this offense wants and wants to continue to do. A couple more first downs. They just got two first downs. The play action fake. Oh, he's going to take a shot at the DB. Touchdown, all this. Precision passing, using the scaffold, the fine instrument. Really, really quiet. It's a great thing. Going downfield for the big play. Makes the catch on the right side. Strikes the ball. And he moves into the end zone. Touchdown, Nice job catching the football and then turn it into a play that can turn it into a, a small wide receiver. The tight end shows off the ability to run after the catch, make a big play, and get the big touchdown.
snag in the middle. It's Jones. And the Tar Heels will snap it on first and ten. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Johnson looking to throw. Quickly complete to the line. They'll try to get it in with the run. They get him up. Got his man on the right. Touchdown, North Carolina! Well, with the momentum has shifted before. So certainly he has now. It has, and now you got some game pressure, right? has three timeouts left, Dave, so probably conservative play calling here. You're expecting them to try to run the ice. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. Takes the handoff. It's Bentley. Get empty little dance step. He's brought down. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. They bring him down. He's going to pass. Quickly to the tight end. Looking to throw. Got his hand quickly. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Makes the grab. In point perfect. It's been, it's been hard just to find completions, no, no doubt. It's going to be the same thing here. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. They bring him down deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. thing at the buzzer. Your point will be all tied just before the break. I knew the balance between being aggressive and not being reckless, Jesse. The only way this is stop save every second you have. Well, guys, let's play some more and edit the overtime. This just feels right. Both of these teams going back and forth. So, of course, Davis, this thing needs to get decided in OT. Let's see who's better. Short amount of time to do it. A couple possessions probably. Maybe one possession each. Who's the better team? All right, guys, so here we go in overtime, and just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first, just to set the tone, to understand what you need, try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to run and get a win. Just two possessions, Paul, like you've got to be at your best. It's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yardage situations. Going to be the end of a... Johnson wants to throw it. He's got his man. And I think everybody at home tends to yell at their television and say, why aren't you getting past the first down ball? Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. He gets it out fast. It's so hard to know where you're at on the sidelines and have good body control. You can tell who did. Hand off. There's a single running back. Not a hole. On second down, lost the throw. Caught in the back of the as well. He got it in. A walk-off touchdown in overtime. Have a day, young fella. I've received some social media posts in his future. Not one, not two, three receiving touchdowns on the day. What a ball game. The drama built throughout this game, memorable plays, and then finally the gut-wrenching loss at the end of overtime. This coaching staff is going to look back at the overtime, and they're going to wish they had called some different plays. They had some things set up, but ultimately, games like this that come down to the wire, you got to be able to dial up plays to win. I don't think this coaching staff did a great job. And it's so frustrating to get to this point and making up plays to be in the game to come up short in overtime.